Buster, what did you do? I can. Maybe this will be a quieter place. Daddy, ain't this bothering me? Come here. Oh my god. Okay, Ellie, I'll be right out. What are we gonna do today? I'm bored. I don't know, Adrian. Can I use the bathroom? Give me a minute. Why don't you use the other bathroom? Veronica's in there. Oh boy. Okay, I'm coming. See what you got in store for me. Hey, Buster. Hey, guys. Oh dear, how was your day? Yeah. Kids are finally in the room. Hello, I missed you. Missed you too. Mm. Did you do your homework? Mm. What are you doing? Mm. You doing homework? How was your day? Good. Good. Hey. Mm. How was your day? Mm. Uh, bored? No. What are you doing? Did you do your homework? There is no homework. There's no homework? What do you mean there's no homework? What are you up to? Stop. Good day, Buster. Huh? Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. You took care of the house? Huh? Good day, buddy. Huh? How was your day? What'd you do all day? You protected the house with all, all your loud screaming? Hmm? Say hello. Say hello. 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 Don't look at me like that. Come here. Hey y'all. I hope I have a uh, enough private time, quiet time to uh go through this video with you guys. I had to put myself in the closet, so I'm gonna to try to keep it as low as possible before they find me. I think my dog is already uh, um, curious of what I'm doing. So, um, what's interesting enough that I'm in this closet, I get to find things that I've been looking for, like toilet paper. So this is obviously the hiding place for some of the toilet paper that I've been looking for. Uh, thankfully, we've been, uh, 
hanging on to what we got. So it's crazy. It's madness right now. Um, I understand that you guys probably are um, trying to figure out um, day by day what's, what's next. Um, I wanted to read to you guys some of the um, verses that have been coming to my heart uh, as of late, especially with trying to figure out you know, what this is all about, this quarantine thing, and how how God is really calling on us. Um, so I'm going to read a verse, and we're going to just quickly chew on it and um, see where God leads us. All right? Yes? What are you doing? Nothing. He found me. Yes? Nothing. Yes. Give me a couple minutes. I'll be right out. So Matthew 6, 6. When you pray, go to your room and close the door. Pray privately to your father who is with you. Your father sees what you do in private. He will reward you. So you've seen in my video... It's not so simple to just close your door sometimes and be in private. I obviously share a room not only with my wife, but with my pets. So um, it's very distracting right from the beginning. Um, the struggle is real, just even getting up. I don't always um, find it easy to even wake up. And usually in the morning time is when I try my best to um, pray privately with God. And, um, you know, it just doesn't always pan out that way. And also, with all that is going on, um, you know, there's a lot of other thoughts and distractions that are going on in my mind. So it's not so simple as that. Um, obviously, you see me in the closet now. Um, usually when I'm waking up a little bit later than what I want to, I'm rushing to get to work. So even on my ride... I don't really have that um, quiet and private time, so I use that time a lot of times to just either listen um, to scripture or to sing um, and uh, try my best to not be so distracted. Um, but then once I get into work, it just it starts and it doesn't finish until it's time to go. So the day is full of distractions and. I find myself struggling with having uh, enough or setting aside enough time to have that privacy with God. So I believe um, in this time of quarantine, he's definitely calling me to really spend that time with him and, and really quality time because he is saying here in this verse, he is with us. He is with me. And, um, you know, there is a reward when I can really focus and really um, listen in what God is trying to, to speak to me and you about in these times of uncertainty. Mark 1, 35 through 37 says, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and he went out to an isolated place to pray. Later, Simon and the others went out to find him. And when they found him, they said, Everyone is looking for you. So even Jesus understood, you know, he needed to get away. He needed to step away into an isolated place. So if it's your closet, maybe you can go into the family vehicle um, somewhere outside of your yard and just really be still and maybe just even listen to God. Even if you don't have the words to say, um, you know, it, it is just that intimate time that you really need to just kind of um, isolate yourself from the distractions. And there's a lot of distractions, especially if you have the TV on, the radio on, and, um, you know, there's a lot of fear stirring up in the air. So God has a lot to say to us when we spend time with him. And if you dig deep into the scriptures, he has a lot of answers for us. So I'm going to share with you a couple more verses that I, I think will, will kind of help us to understand his calling on us. 1 John 4.18 there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Wow. So 
in these times when we're stuck and, um, you know, we're um, almost like allowing fear to be above love, um, you know, that that's where we have to just almost like not only put God first and, and you know, isolate time for him, but then really look around and, and just acknowledge that God is doing something awesome. He's allowing us to spend time with those that we love. Um, so we need to start to practice that love and acknowledge the people that are around us and maybe the blessings that we're not seeing that are around us and practice that love because, you know, his grace, his love for us, um, you know, goes further than we are, our understanding. So if we learn to practice that love, that should, from my understanding, um, should overcome the fear of the unknown. Second Timothy one um, verse seven, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Wow. You know, it's amazing how God is going to use this time really to um, allow us not only to just practice that love, but, you know, when we spend time with him, I believe that he is going to um, tune us back into his spirit and allow us um, to really just um, understand what really matters the most. You know, we, we can get so caught up in all these distractions that we forget what matters most. I'm also hearing a lot of hysteria on, you know, this is the end of the world, you know, like, um, this is it, you know, and, and that's that fear that just kind of starts triggering in and we're going to look into the scriptures for the signs of the end times. But, you know, um, scripture does make it clear. I know if you, if you, if you're interested in finding out what Jesus has to say about end times, you know, I encourage you to, to read through the gospels and even especially, um, Mark 13, this whole chapter speaks about how Jesus describes end times, but he made it clear um, on chapter 13, verse 32. He says, however, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or uh, the son himself. Only the father knows. And since you don't know when the time will come, be on guard and stay alert. So we can't just... Um, sit here in, in fear and hysteria and buy all the toilet paper. Um, you know, we, we need to really um, focus on what matters most. Um, you know, again, God is calling us to practice that love, to acknowledge what we already have, to live it out um, day by day as if he is going to be here any moment. So we need to just really have that quiet time to, to just push away all those distractions, know that God is in control, he loves all of us, and even though we don't um, know what happens next, let us just uh, live out our day um, knowing that um, he is in control, he loves us, and um, he is giving us this great opportunity to really reflect on what matters the most. I love you guys, and um, we will talk soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if you noticed early on in the video when I was attempting to pray, there was a Coke bottle by my nightstand. So it's an unopened bottle of Coke. For some reason, I kept it on my nightstand. It just stayed there for probably over a year. And the reason someone gifted it to me, um, it said Alberto, someone thought of me, and uh, they bought it for me. I don't drink Coke, that's why it's not opened. Um, but I just um, wanted to explain that because I was watching the video, I'm like, I'm wondering if someone's thinking that I drink Coke and I'm just uh, you know, keeping it by my nightstand. So anyway, um, I just wanted to thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to the CY um, um, videos and just continue to watch all of the videos that are coming up between uh, leaders and students um, and then uh, be sure to watch the live stream which is going to be at six o'clock on Sunday every Sunday and um, just continue to watch see you guys soon and please subscribe